Um, before I tell you my testimony, I would like to share to you my secret scene. Um, for a while, probably about three years, I have been smoking despite me being a Christian. I don't smoke a lot, but that's my, I call that my stress buster. Every time I'm stressed out, I, I smoke. And I'm not proud of it. As a Christian, I would hide, I would hide it. And my husband and I, we always fight about it. And I wanted to quit so bad because I don't like the, I know it's bad for me. I don't like the, the smell, but it's so hard. It's an addiction. So I've been praying so hard to God to help me quit smoking. I surrendered everything to him that I wanted to quit smoking. Every time I buy a pack, I would say this will be my last one. But up to the end, you know, when I only have one more, I would always go buy another pack. And so I was praying hard to God, take this away from me. Uh, give me sickness. I actually asked for it. But you know, I was asking God to give me probably cough so that I won't be smoking anymore. And when I had my last mammogram, so they told me I had to do a repeat mammogram. And so I thought it's just nothing because it's not in our family. I don't have the risk. But when I got the news from my from my pe uh, from my doctor, I was like, I couldn't believe it that I have breast cancer, and I haven't been, at that time. I haven't been smoking anymore for for like a, two weeks, something like that. But I still have two cigarettes left in 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 the pack. And I remember when I left the doctor's office, I couldn't cry, I couldn't react. I just smoked that cigarette, you know, I wanted to let it out. Well, I didn't even ask the Lord, why me? Actually, in the back of my mind, I deserve it. I deserve this. But you know, and so after that, um, my my doctor referred me to a surgeon and when I went to the surgeon, he explained to me the type of cancer that I have. It's um, ducti carcinoma in situ. The surgeon told me, if you're going to have a cancer, this is the best one that you're going to have. It is non-invasive and it's in situ, meaning it's contained. And the size is very small. It's eight millimeters. So I had two surgeries, actually three. And then I had the best treatment after the, the surgery. I had one week of radiation, morning and afternoon. It was so difficult. That's the simplest kind, but it is so difficult. I wouldn't wish anybody to, have to go through that. When I was, uh, when I go to the radiation, to the oncology clinic, I would see all the people, all the other patients going through, you know, they go through chemotherapy and a lot of them are really going downhill. Mine is nothing. So I am praising God for what he gave me. I know uh, God doesn't give us sickness. He doesn't allow that for us. But for me, I look at it that way, that I deserve it, and it's his way to discipline me. I know it's not true, but God is indescribable. I don't know how you describe it, but I needed that disciplining. And I just finished my treatment. And I know the doctor, it's the doctor who would tell me that I'm cancer free. And, but Jesus is my healer. And I am 
Amen. Praise God.